Did you guys end up with the film you set out to make? Oh no. Because well. <laughs> this journey, this journey's been long. Actually, we, we started out with a very serious film for two mm -hmm. years, and an epic kind of film, and th that was the critical point. We decided we weren't having any fun. We wanted to really switch gears, and now we've turned out with a really fun film that we really enjoy. And yeah, you guys have to have of. fun. Yeah. Oh, Isn't that part of the deal? Yeah. It is. Because if you're not having fun, is the audience having no, fun? No, they're not. No. And, and making animated movies ought to be fun. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, go back and tell me why you were not having fun. <laughs> I think that uh, we, we, about two years into it, we realized why all the Disney classic films are sort of set in a, in a timeless period, Never Never Land, sort of in Europe someplace, or we, we chose South of the Border, sort of South America, sometime. You don't want to get locked down to making a documentary film about something where you're saying, gee, this is in this year, we have to be accurate to every single thing. It takes the fun out of it. So. So Mark just said, let's just set it somewhere south of the border, mythical time, and then you can tell a human story that, that could in some ways be told almost anywhere and, 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 and really hook into to what people identify with. You guys have done something with this film that, that is kind of daring in a way, in that I, was, I have two children, one's 11 and one's 13, Perfect. and they think animated films are for babies. And so uh -huh. I said, you know, this is a kind of a hip film. Yeah. But yet, uh, you know, the perception of those age groups are sometimes is that animated films are not hip films. So there's, mm -hmm. there's a little mountain to climb here right. as far as getting that. Because it's kind of a hip sense of humor to it. Do you feel that way about your film that it, it's, that it's kind of it reaches even an older age group? Yeah, it's oh, yeah. it's it's definitely layered. So there's there's comedy and and interesting jokes and uh, uh, and and all, obviously putting David Spade in this brings a really hip kind of sensibility to it. And it was really fun to have a badly behaved character as the main character and follow his arc. So th that gave us all sorts of opportunities. Mm. Mm. Isn't comedy arbitrary? Sometimes what you think is funny you hope connects? Yeah. yeah. Because what is funny for you might not be funny for others? Well, we have a process where we, we continually show our movie to, the, to our in-house group and get reactions, gauge what they're laughing at. And we had a lot of things that just didn't play and we kind of wondered what were we thinking in a way that uh, Pacha's Village once was, once was famous for its pickles. <laughs> and it just went down this path and we, you know, uh, explored it, uh, but it just came up dry. So Sweet there's a lot of those that. things. Yeah, a lot of things like that that just happen and we just throw them out and just constantly test them because it's, it, you can tell in a second whether comedy works. There's a, the, uh, the microcosm of the film for me is the sequence where uh, they see each other in the restaurant and the menus mm -hmm. are going like this. Yeah. Because it's all about, a lot of comedy is about timing. Uh -huh. It's about a flow and a rhythm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that, that you get in and you connect with that rhythm. And your film has all of that rhythm yeah. instead of making, you know, yeah. instead oh, of stutter yeah. stepping. Yeah. Do you don't feel that way in the editing and the making of the film? Don't listen for a second. <laughs> yeah. He's a genius at that. <laughs> Mark, Mark has, a, 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 I think, a, a music in his mind and all his timing is based on using effects, using timing of dialogue, using the music, and sort of there's a rhythm, there's a syncopation to the, to the quick starts and then slow pauses, and I think you just have it in your head. Be humble. Try to be humble okay, about it. Okay. <laughs> he really likes your work. <laughs> What's that say about him? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Does the word knucklehead come up every once in a while? Yeah. You know, uh, um, um, when people watch this film, if, if, if there is a message, and I don't want to give messages to a lot of movies, but if there is something that we're saying to kids in this film, what are we saying? I think the, the, the heart of it is think of others and that bad behavior ultimately, if you're self centered, you're not going to gain happiness yeah, through that. You end up lonely with no one around. And uh, I think it's fun that, that that can be the message, but it's somewhat tucked under the comedy and the fun of the movie rather than being, you know, right, right up front. That's true with, with film critics. Is it true with filmmakers? What? The Which? message? Oh, the message? <laughs> <laughs> that if you're going to be bad to people, it's going to come around oh, and bite you later. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, definitely. I know I lost you there. It's a timing yeah, thing. We just <laughs> completely lost My humor is just a little <laughs> odd. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. I really thank enjoyed you. the film. It's thank a nice surprise. Much. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.